Welcome to week number six for Kelly J. My name is Jody Bunting and this is our six week course where we're trying to get our slimmers to lose a stone in six weeks. Hi Kelly. Hello. It's the final weigh in. It is. What is the results from the scales? The results are not a stone, but 12 pounds, 12 point two five so right. like 12 and a quarter so that's that's more than i've lost in the 10 years i've been married oh when i've been trying to because so, I've, I've put it all on the, the four stone i lost i put it on yeah so it's more every time i've tried before it'll be a couple of pounds or something here or there whereas i feel like this has been steady and i feel like i could continue and i know i've said that every week but it's not easy but it's not hard I yeah. can't explain it. It's doable. And the good, the good thing like. is that's two pounds every week for six weeks. So a lot of people would agree that's a really healthy, good way to do it. Yeah, yeah. And I and I have had treats, but then when I'm when I'm doing that, like you said, it would literally be one day at the weekend where I'm like, right, okay, I'll I might have a little bit of alcohol and I'll have something that I want to eat, but then I'm still going for and healthy option if I eat out or something and that's not because I'm thinking oh I'm on a diet and and really like punishing myself it's just more of thinking about it a bit differently yeah and I've eaten so much falafel this week it's unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> so much so I'm having prawn avocado and crab stick salad for my tea because I can't face anything Any bulkier <laughs> but I've really enjoyed them so Oh, I've not had like full packs. I've had like five, five yeah. of the little flaffles, the little ones. Um, they're the ones that you posted actually from Lidl. Or oh, was it Aldi? From Aldi, the Mediterranean, the Mediterranean ones. ones. Yeah, they so are nice. those are the ones. Yeah, I've had those. And literally, because we're, we are busy and if anyone else is a teacher, when you get to this point in school year, reports, marking tests, etc., school yeah. plays, blah, it's uh, summer fair. It's just all horrific. You're so busy. But I can warm the falafel up so they're like warm, savoury donuts and just have them on a blue paper towel whilst I'm working at lunch, but I'm still eating something that isn't okay. crisp. Yeah. And isn't then making me so hungry at the end of the day that I come home and start eating rubbish. And again, because they're so, made of chickpeas, they've got all the protein in as well. So they're going to keep you fuller for longer. Yeah. Great. Absolutely. So, so I can't what, say another, other than it's words, and I feel like I can see it here more now. Yeah. When I'm looking at myself and my friends at work, not just my friends, but other people said, oh, you can just see on your back there, have you lost weight? And I'm like, oh, yeah, because I've not told everyone. I'm not going <laughs> to yeah. tell people that aren't my friends. But, like, from the back, and like I said, I've not been noticing it because normally you lose it from here first, but yeah. I've not really noticed that, but it's it's off my back. Great. which is really bizarre my bras are fitting me better on the back <laughs> which is exciting yeah. isn't it yeah it's good and I know I'm going to continue the journey yeah. because it hasn't changed my life that much which is great so what's been the biggest challenge you think over the last six weeks eating lunch are making you still sure finding I that eat. tricky now no because now I've found falafel <laughs> Yeah, so, <laughs> I don't know. It sounds ridiculous, but yeah, I think that and not not written really, and just making sure I'm eating at the right time and eating at an, an early enough hour that when I'm hungry and I get home, say I get up at get home at quarter to seven at night, that I make my my tea then, and then I don't have anything else rather than having a little snack to keep me going until I make my tea. Yeah. Or, and trying to crave, uh, trying to get rid of the sweet tooth at night, which I have done. Which we if talked wanted... about that right at the beginning, didn't we? That was You said that was your biggest challenge, really. Yeah, and the, sh the sugar thing seems to have really just, it, my craving for sugar has gone quite quickly and quite, it, that, I was surprised with that. With my, myself and my husband were looking at our, um, you know, when you go on Just Eat and look at the takeaways that you've had, your past yeah. orders. So, like, the last one we had was probably May or whatever, but we were looking, and from May up to, like, well, we're talking 2021, every single one had a milkshake with it, one of yeah. those big 
fat dessert milkshakes, not like a little fruity thing, like <laughs> through, well, yeah, a full, and that's my, what my craving was. Yeah, and I've not had I've not had anything like that, and I've stopped drinking as much milk because I've not got acid ingestion at night. Yeah. I think I can see it in your skin as well. Don't you think your skin's improved? And I've got no makeup on at all. Yeah, this yeah. will be making sure. And I, I, I am drinking more water because I've yeah. got the, my special bottle. Not the one my husband got me, it broke. <laughs> the cheap one. I got another one. But yeah, but just having that on the desk and I've not been drinking as much coffee either. But yeah. that wasn't a conscious decision. Just if I've not got time, I'll or I'm having a quick swig whilst in the middle of doing my spiel teaching I'll have a swig of my water instead of my coffee so what, yeah what do you think has been the biggest highlight of the last six weeks what's been your most enjoyable moment I'm not going to say falafel again because that would be weird <laughs> but <laughs> but actually by discovering and trying not just new things but things that I've tried before and not liked and tried them in a different way and I am enjoying cooking in an evening and taking some of that for lunch and feel like I'm I'm not overeating at the night time just to not waste or then wasting because I didn't need everything. I feel like we're being, I don't know, a little bit more, I don't, I don't know what the word is. Not stingy, but using everything up. Yeah, I know because a lot of people do that. It's It's like when you, for instance, you do... Uh, a lot of people shop on yellow labels and stuff like that. And because it is going to go out of date, they have to eat it up. Therefore, you're almost pushing yourself to overeat. So, again, this is why I would recommend to people, you know, not to shop to or to shop often and little instead of doing a big shop. Because you often yeah. find you have to use everything up, don't you? Because it's all going out of date and stuff. So, yeah, it's hard to get that balance right between value for money and not wasting and obviously your 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 health, your diet as well. So Oh, absolutely, yeah. Great. So what are we doing from here? Would you like to go on to lose any more weight or what's your plan? Yeah. Absolutely. I I'm happy to continue without a shadow of a doubt. I feel like it's doable. And it's because I think we talk about this with the children. We talk about healthy eating. When you say the word diet, children think from their parents and whatever that a diet means, you are on a diet you can't eat. When diet just means what you eat. It just means your daily relationship with food or how you manage your food. It, it, that's all it means, what you eat. Yeah. And so it's something that should be part of the lifestyle, not just something for a quick fix which is what I'm saying is that I, I've really liked and being accountable. I know I have to speak to you. <laughs> Not in a bad way. <laughs> it's, certainly, it's certainly enjoyable, but I, I know that at a certain point in the week, I will be weighing myself and I don't want to be cross with myself. Yeah. And I certainly won't make it up. Yeah. Because what's the point? You're only cheating yourself there. And my husband didn't know. And he's in the other room. He'd know if I was like, he'd start shouting. <laughs> no, you're not. You ate a burger. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I oh, did. Yeah, great. absolutely. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Kelly. It's been an no. absolute joy the last six weeks. It has. Right. So thank you for joining us. And okay, I, will, okay. I will message we'll you privately in, in a moment. Okay. Perfect. And I'm great. looking forward to it. Okay. Excellent. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you, Kelly. Bye Thank for now. Thank you so much. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. bye.